Hey, what's going on guys? It is me, Kova, and welcome back to some more daily gossip. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to get these videos every single day. So we're starting off with Lamine Kone, obviously Sunderland player currently. Everton are renewing their interest. They're ready to go in with a £17 million bid. They're obviously impressed by what they've seen last season, or at least towards the end of the last season where he was excellent for Sunderland. And obviously Everton are ready to sell John Stones. They need a bit of a rebuild at the back as well, in my opinion. Uh, at least new two, two new centre-backs not even just a replacement for Stones, at least two. Uh, so yeah, look, Kone's going to be one of them by the looks of things. If uh, Sunderland never can agree a fee there, that would be a really good sign for everyone, to be honest, in my opinion. Next up is James Chester, a guy who's not been having the best of times at West Brom. Middlesbrough are ready to rescue him from his nightmare and make an improved bid for the Wales International. Obviously, he had the really good Euros, in my opinion, and that obviously impressed Middlesbrough. And Middlesbrough are going crazy with the signings that they're making. You know, if, out of all the... Clubs that came up, I would put money on Middlesbrough to stay up. Uh, normally, I would have put them as like the first to go down, but this season, I don't know. They've made some really good signings. They look like an ambitious club, so I, th I think they might stay up. Next up is a really good signing, in my opinion, is is Dijalobili, if I can even say it. He was the Chelsea centre back. You know, they signed him when Mourinho was in charge, and uh, Sunderland have now signed him. Not sure what the fee was, but it is a confirmed deal. He is now a Sunderland player, which may see, you know, Kone go. I'm not too sure. But obviously, you know, centre-back coming in may see a centre-back go out, unfortunately, for Sunderland fans. But either way, it would be a solid profit on two players who are probably quite similar. Next up, Santon. This one has fell through for West Ham. Obviously, I think I put it in yesterday or the day before that, you know, West Ham are going to go for Santon as, like, a cover for left-back. However, the deal has fell through. Not sure why. Um, I don't know if it was between two clubs or whether it was on personal reasons or something like that, but it is not going to be happening as far as I'm concerned. Scott Sinclair's next up. He is on his way to Celtic. A, I think it was a 3.5 million fee was agreed between Aston Villa and Celtic. So he was probably Aston Villa's standout player last season out of any you know players. But they were all pretty much awful, but Sinclair... You know, had a good start to the season. Yeah, faded away, but, you know, out of anyone, he was probably the one of the best. And, uh, yeah, he's going up to Celtic for a fee of 3.5 million to join up with Brendan Rodgers, who's trying to build a decent side up there, to be fair to him. Next up is Nemanja Matic. Uh, Real Madrid are ready to go in for him with a £34 million bid to get the centre defensive mid. Now, if you look at this in perspective, £34 million for Matic or £35 million for Sissoko, that's just how mad this transfer window is going. And I don't know why so many clubs are interested in Sissoko. And speaking of him, he is now linked to PSG for a £35 million move. Again, I don't know why clubs are going for him. I do not raise him at all. Well, I raise him to, uh, to an extent, but not that much. And that just shows, you know, a player who gets relegated is now going for £35 million, which is just insane. Next up is Gabriel. Obviously, this guy's a bit of a beast on FIFA. He is getting linked with Leicester. They could make a £25 million move. He was seen as like the next Neymar, but I don't think that's really happened for him. I think he's more, not as good anyway, but he's still a good player, still attracting a lot of interest. James Rodriguez is the main story today. An unnamed Premier League club has apparently made a £72 million bid for James Rodriguez. So you've got to pretty much reel out like about 15 teams straight away. It's got to be one of the one of the big guys. You know, you're looking at your Manchester United, your Chelsea, your Man City... Arsenal possibly, although I don't think they'd splash that much money. Um, after that, you're struggling to say who would make that bid. I don't think Liverpool would make that bid. They don't, you know, not making bids of more than like forty million ever. Uh, so it's not them. It's got to be you know the clubs I just mentioned: Man City, Man U, Chelsea. I wouldn't really put it past anyone else. Them three, you know, are gonna be the type. I'd probably put money on Man U going in for Hammers Rodriguez on that one. Wilfred Boney is next up. He's constantly getting links with Everton, and they're ready to make an offer of £15 million, which would kind of equate to uh, Boney plus, like, 35 for John Stones. We don't know yet. Uh, I don't know what fee, actually, Everton want for John Stones, but it, it's probably going to include Boney in some form of the deal. Everton do want him, and I think it would be a good deal to do. And finally, we end on Diego Costa. Napoli are the club that finally load up on his badge, and they're ready to go for him to make a big money move. I don't really see this as an actual transfer rumor. It's just you know a few papers have actually put it in. But Napoli have just signed Milik. I don't see why they'd also go for Diego Costa. They've notoriously been a one main striker club for a very long time, pretty much since Cavani was there. So this is how the club, this the club, the squad will look like. Obviously, James Rodriguez being the insane one. A nice little Columbia player coming into the Premier League, possibly. So, guys, if you did enjoy, hit that like button. Let's see if we can get 10 likes. And I shall see you in the next one.